Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Andrew. Tim. <laughs> this, this is an edition of Box Busters en français. Uh, we have 2011-12 OPG Hockey brought to us by Upper Deck. Tim, what do you know? What do you say about this product? Uh, 36 packs per box, 6 cards per pack. Uh, inside we're going to find some of last year's uh, extended rookies. Uh, there's, I believe, 20 cards that are going to be from the 10-11 season that are updates. Very cool. Uh, since they didn't release an update box set, they didn't release an update product, they're actually just throwing some of them in here. Mm -hmm. So we'll find those. Um, autographs and memorabilia are going to be really cut off in this. Scarce. Yeah, they're very scarce in this product. And the uh, autographs, I'll let you do it because my hands are quite sweaty. Um, the autographs have been uh, tough over, over the years from OPG. Right. So they tend to sell a little better than most. Well, this is, this is See, a little I tough. told you. This I is, told you're you. not lying, Tim. I have to bring out the heavy duty machinery and whatnot. Okay, be careful because there are box bottom panels on here. Okay. And Very the box cool. bottom panels, if you want to show them off while you're. We're seeing them. I'm okay. Zoom down. They have a retro. Um, retro well, they are. Them. They actually have a parallel to this set. The base set is the retro parallel, mm -hmm. and that's the design of the retro parallel. We've got some cut lines right there. They're not and actually perforated. No. There are retro parallels. There are retro rainbow parallels. Retro Ooh. black rainbow, Ooh. and then retro blank backs, which are very scarce. While Ooh. these box bottoms don't have a back to them. They won't be confused with the blank backs because okay. of different photos. Very, very. I've cool. already checked on it. Uh, there's 16 different box bottom cards, four different panels. Why don't we crack through here? We'll crack through for starters. Um, packaging uh, to match Gretzky. Gretzky on the cover there. What, what is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to take the bottom rows. Oh, this. There you go. Just. Oh yeah, sure. Do Show it all them up. Oh, Tim. You're so good. So they're, they're sliding all over the place because of the mat, matted finish there on the, on the, uh, the pack aesthetic. I'm just going to leave them unorganized, piled up like that. That's not how I'm going to go through the cards themselves. But okay. how, about, how about we start in a different way? I'll go ahead and show off a card back at Ooh, first. Rebel. I am a rebel, and I'll show off the card cardboard Something. stock to the back there. A little bit of a, a grayscale happening. Logan Couture. Here's a base card of Simeon Valamov. Or, or is Tim being a rebel by showing the fronts instead Maybe of the Maybe he is. Yeah, I think he, he is. changed it up a little I'm bit. I'm going to show you also a parallel. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh you can go yeah. ahead and show you. We'll show them right off together. I've got Mark Messier there. Here's a better. There we go. You win. It looks, <laughs> mine is better hands down. I, I, I love the way these look. I like the, the full bleed design there. And I'll go ahead and show off a marquee rookie. Marcus Kruger. Very cool. They're very, uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. they, they feel, they feel, uh, they feel retro. Show off a marquee legend. And the rookies and the legends are short printed in this. A little bit. I think there's 50 leg There's 500 base <coughs> cards, 50 rookies, 50 legends, somewhere around there, um, I believe. And I think they're like one and two or one and four, something like that, for the legends and the rookies. Very cool. The retro cards are one per pack. Historically, Tim, tell tell me, tell us a little bit about the. Uh, uh, I guess the, the good features uh, from from OPG from from this the brand from Upper Deck. Good features. Well, OPG's you know it's obviously been around for a long time, so it already has its collector base. It's already got uh, quite a following. It's going to be one of the largest sets produced every year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be the most encompassing. It's going to have a lot of players included, which is great for fans who, you know, if you're a team collector and, you know, typically you're only going to see three, four, five guys mm -hmm. in every set, where here you're going to get quite a bit more than that. So you're going to see a lot more depth, a lot more players will be covered. Yeah. And That's... with all the parallels, there's going to be a lot more cards to collect if you're not um, a superstar collector. Right, right. I think this is a black parallel, this isn't is, it? This is a black parallel. Yeah. It's uh, actually numbered on the back, 78 out of 100. Ooh. There we go. So it's, a, it's a cool looking parallel. I have so, a rainbow parallel, so we can show that off. And this is a Nathan Horton. In Hort. Did he hear a who? No. I was going to do like a, a double rainbow reference, but that would only work if we had two. Full on double rainbow, sir. 
I've got and a. Uh, last year. But I like the Horton. There we go. This is, as Tim mentioned, this is a, okay. this is a, a last year kind of update. Keith Al Oli, I guess, of the Leafs. Close enough is what you could say. And I've got another another refractive parallel here. Jeff Carter, Flyers. Yeah. Very cool. I have Stefan DeCosta, one of the marquee rookies from this year. Very cool. I appreciate the the fact that there is French on there as well. And I've got a couple of cool marquee legends. They didn't come from the same pack, but I passed up on Bobby Orr, but I'll go ahead and show them up with Eric Lindros as well. Very cool. Right. Jump in here with Phil Esposito. Very cool. Phil. Oh, Philly. Minus no mark. Ooh, that's a different subset there or something. Yes, it is. This is... Awards? Um, no. That is... Show the card that. back there. Oh, weird. Oh, what the That, heck? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That is one of these rookies. Retro. That is last year's retro parallel. Oh, okay. Sorry. Kind of snuck that in makes there. sense. Did I say that right? Last that year's sense. rookie parallel yeah. retro. Because the retro has a different design, and that is they each of those twenty rookies have a parallel retro card, a retro black, rainbow, a retro rainbow, and a retro blank back. You were talking about the hands there, and I missed it all. What a shame. There were a lot of hands. Um, also, something in this product you're going to find are checklist cards. Uh, being that it's a six hundred card set, you're going to need to kind of keep track of it. So they have included them, and they are part of the set. Where a lot of times you yeah. might see checklists that are like in checklist in one of two. This is actually card four ninety nine. They're four ninety six to five hundred, and card six hundred, I believe, is also a checklist. And you know what, sir? You mentioned that autographs and memorabilia are very scarce. I just, box. I just happened to pull a Jordan Karen of Team Canada signatures card here. The Team Canada the signatures team Canada are even signature. tougher than the signatures. Very cool. Then I don't know the exact odds on that, but one in this is three point eight me. billion. Tell me. Very yeah, rare, sir. Oh my gosh. I can't see. Got some French. L'équipe du Canada. He's an alley or droid. droid. The overall signature cards are 1 in 144. <clears throat> the overall Team Canada signatures are 1 in 432 packs. Well, Tim. Scarce. Special. Super scarce. That's Jordan Karen there. Loaded. Not, not, not too shabby. Tim Thomas. Got to show him off. Okay. Show off Steve Ott. Steve Ott. You ought to know who comes first. That's Alanis Morissette. You, you, True. you ought to know that this is Tim <laughs> Thomas with a beard. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? I don't know. You know what? That's all the Alanis Morissette I got. I'm okay. going to Small the mayors. distance from <laughs> 51 out of 100. Tom Foolery. Show off a... What do you call us? Tim Foolery. More like it. Yeah, really. Brendan Nash. Tim Another Foolery. Movie. Who is this one again? That was Jamal Mayers there of San Jose Sharks. Ooh. Another black parallel. It's a Kevin Shattenkirk rookie from 2010-11. Is, is he like a, a relative of Shattenkirk? You're Shatner trying Kirk? way too hard, Chris. Cat. Captain His Kirk. name is Shatterkirk. That's, that's a very kismet name. That is an awesome name. Yeah. I'm going to have to collect him and Cal Clutterbuck. There you go. David Jones. Man, you're too fast. I am too fast. So these, these are these are very cool. I I, I definitely ah. like the way that these look in general. Yeah, our first insert. Very cool. you've had one. And the insert cards on those are a little oh, yeah. thicker. This is an inaction. They also have that foil board. And I forget how it looks. Uh, Jeff Skinner. It's an inaction Jeff Skinner. And I don't know if you can see the thickness on the card compared to a base card. Girthy. Yeah, it's a little bit girthier, if you will. I also have my first insert here, and this is a Team uh -huh. Leaders card uh, featuring a bunch of new New Jersey Devils players. Again, very retro, minimalist on the back, in design, and, and everything there. Very cool. There we go. Sorry, Chris. Didn't get the right angle for you. Well, no, the, the people at home couldn't see it. All I looked at was the top. How no, do you know they're at home true. watching? They well, could be elsewhere. They could, be. could they be at work? It could be, but, Are you? but there's nobody that needs to know about that. Yeah, really. I hardly call what I do work, Chris. Me either. Yowza. 
Yeah, San Makita Black Rainbow, number 35 of 100. Whenever I see a Stan Makita card, I always think of the Stan Makita Donuts from Wayne's World. Yeah. Case. Oh, the Does that ring a bell? Do you? Taylor, Taylor Hall. Those, those are good. I went there once on a trip to Chicago. Did you? John Tavares as well. Even though it doesn't exist, I did go. There. They were good. Very cool. Wayne's World, party time. Excellent. Excellent. Gee, the floor. Gee, my friend. Another team leaders card here. Buffalo Sabres. Jonathan Taz. Gotta show off your Black Hawk. That's for you, Tony. Thank you. I have a team leaders for the Flyers. Woo! And while these are an insert, they don't have the same. Girth. I mean, these are the standard, standard, same as the card. Um, kind of a gray stock, if you will. Which is also kind of a retro theme. I I say retro; it's what cards were when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. the, and they they do generally a good job. Like even even with these little splashes of uh, refractive stuff being thrown in there, I don't I don't mind that. You know, I don't think that it, it distracts that much. I like to call that a foil board. Foil board, but it is a refractive surface. If you were to use an adjective, it reflects color. Yes. Yeah. Refracts color? Maybe? No, it reflects. David Steckel. Checklist. Rainbow. I believe a refractive Joko means Bar. it changes the color. Like it refracts it, bends it. You got Mr. Wizard with here, light. All of a <laughs> because he knows about a little about science. He's called a wizard. That's right. He is Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Very cool. I took science in high school. Robert. Good. O Luong O. I'm a wizard. He's a wizard. Wizard for all you Boston Boston fans. <laughs> That's a wizard. Ryan McDonough, rookie from last year from the 1011. My last pack, the last card I'll show off is Eric Nystrom, the Minnesota Wild. There. He's nice. He's nice, strong. Very cool. Brush it again. Sorry. No problem. I think I ran a little quick. Yep, final pack. Let's see. Final pack for myself is weird as well. Marquee Ricky. Ah, Ooh, got a guns. rainbow marquee legend. Show it off, sir. Neil Broughton. Broughton. Very cool. And I'll go ahead and show off Matt Duchesne. There, the Colorado Avalanche. You know what else about these cards that's kind of interesting is the base cards. Would work great if you're doing some in person autographs. Yeah. Nice. Or nice, some through nice the mail nice. autographs. They have a nice, and again, like we said earlier, this is a great checklist because it's very, very broad. Yeah. Covered, there's, very there's a encompassing. Lot of take, take a stack out to the game. Who knows? Might get lucky out there with that. So, overall, uh, just aesthetics alone, I really appreciate year after year the, the, the retro feel, retro appeal to the product. Um, you know, and it's at a relatively low price point. Um, so, I mean, th this is this is a super rare, super rare thing to find. But you can find it in a, in a product like this. What? What? Any, any last thoughts on this? Uh, it's always a fun break. It's uh, I mean, you get a lot of cards, and the price point's pretty good too, because I believe it's about two to three dollars a pack. Right. Um, so it's like I said, it's a great price point, a lot of fun to break. Yeah. You get a lot of a lot of stars from each team. So. Yeah. Very cool. So, so this has been 2011-12 OPG Hockey by Upper Deck. I'm Andrew. I'm Tim. We'll see you next time. Au revoir.